Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install a software called Magic Mirror on a uh, Raspberry Pi. So I'm VNC'd into this so I can actually show you the screen once we get this installed. So i am just got a terminal up here. So we're just going to come over. We're just going to copy this guy. The command here. Then we can just paste it. Go ahead and run it. Now this is going to automatically go through and install some software and whatnot. So it's going to take a little bit, but uh, might not take too too long on the Pi 4. So once that command's done, we need to go ahead and install this guy. All right, so now we're done there. We need to go ahead and paste in <clears throat> that guy there. We'll let that run. So then we're going to go ahead and grab this directory here. So we'll have it. <clears throat> now it's unpacking, setting up. Okay, so now we have that guy. So now we'll just paste in the git clone directory for the magic mirror. All right, let me make this font just a hair smaller. All right, so now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and CD into the magic mirror. So, if we come over here, we're CD'd into it, so now we need to do an npm install. But I'm going to go ahead and just copy this guy while we're here because we can just type in the other command. So, we need to come back, npm install. <clears throat> now this might take a little bit of time, especially if it's on the Pi 2 or the, possibly the Pi 3. Might not take as long, but the, we're on the Pi 4, so this should probably install relatively quick. So, We'll see here. I ran the Magic Mirror before in the past. Uh, I might run it again, but I don't think I'm going to worry about putting the uh, one way mirror film or whatnot on it. Really, no reason to. But if you want the cooler effect, you're more than happy to do it. So, as you can see, it's installing. Everything's looking good so far. So. I believe you could run this on the uh, Pi Zero, but uh, it definitely may take a while to install. It might be better to set it up on a Pi 3 or whatnot and swap the SD cards around. <clears throat> so, all right, so we'll see what it's doing here. So now it's installing some more stuff. We'll just sit back and wait. So now I'm back, 
And as you can see, we are installed. So we can go ahead and paste in our command here to copy. So now we need to start it. So we'll do a npm run start. Now, if you're running this through terminal being SSH'd into the Pi, this command probably might not work. You may have to run the remote one, but uh, run start. Oop, wrong thing. Run start. But since we are uh, VNC'd into it locally, we can just run this command here and this will fire it up and if all goes well we should be up and running and as you can see we are uh, running so it is working now if you want to exit out of here a control C or whatnot's not going to work you can try it but it won't work you need to do a control Q and that will exit you out of the mirror if you are running it. So if you have it running like here, you can just uh, do a control Q and that will stop the module and uh, get you back to the terminal. So hopefully this helps out. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll throw a link in the description to uh, my website for more of this information and uh, stay tuned don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe button and stay tuned for another one